Hey! Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust. We're talking about the Rust Console Edition, or the Rust Console Beta. And this is the No Key Card Train Yard Walkthrough. How to get the loot out of the train yard with none of those key cards. Because sometimes you just don't have them, and you still need that loot. So here we go. Uh, we do have, or I should say, if you're trying to do the train yard puzzle, I will go ahead and link that video now in the upper right hand corner. It will show you how to do it if you have the fuses and the key cards to do so, and it does yield you more loot. But we are going to be doing this like scavengers. All right, first things first, as we always do, place a sleeping bag and a, I almost said scrap, a small stash out there with a little bit of food, some cloth, so you can craft nine bandages. If you have some extra weapons or even junk from your base, craft extra uh, wooden armor or take it with you. Uh, you do need 25 ramp protection, so uh, if you're going to stash extra things in the stash there, go ahead and do so. And uh, yes, you will need 25% for this, and those stashes and the sleeping bag will help you recover when, not if, but when you get clapped over at the train yard. All right, so first things first. We are going to head towards the water tower. It'll help orient yourself here. And again, if you do live in the area next to the train yard, this is not a bad place. Not only to get those geared players that are walking through, you can uh, steal their key cards and their fuses. There you go. I got some food right there. Boom. Radiation pills. Bam. Nice. This house here, hopefully you can see that. It's awfully bright. We've got, oh, we got a milli crate back there. Oh, we're getting a good roll. We got more food. Yeah. And again, take that back to your base, especially if you're leaving the area. It's always good for you. Look at this. Military crate right off the rip. Again, I think you need 10 rad protection, but if you want to go in that main house back there, let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. Or even this tower, it's going to cost you 25 rad protection. So, and then this building here, if you want to go up. But that's more key card stuff, but you can definitely go up here. So check that out. You got the bubbler too, a blue barrel, looking good. And we're going to detach the camera and go up here and show you what this looks like so it doesn't take as much time. Again, you will need 25 rad protection for this, I promise. So going up the ladder, if you jump, it'll help accelerate your climb. And then look at this, another military crate. See what I mean? Place is loaded. If you go up one more, you have a medical crate. And again, this is a fantastic place to post up if you have some range or even have your teammates call off things with binoculars. And you should be able to hear any creepy creeps coming from down below. Nice. All right, let's get back to our character. And let's keep scavenging. All right, so this is one of the first places you go to do said puzzle, but it also has some loot around, or it should. I want to say sometimes in the back it does. There we go. Look at this, man. So many military crates. 18 high quality and 8 scrappy doodles. Sign me up. And if you see this switch flipped, assume that somebody is doing said puzzle. And you can either turn it off on them or you can go intercept. You know, just nice things to know. Again, we do have a Rust beta or a Rust console edition guides playlist. I'm going to go ahead and link that now in the upper right hand corner. Deleep will help you find all kinds of things uh, at the monuments, how to solve the monuments, how to build, how to raid, all that good stuff. It's going to help save you all kinds of gotchas as you begin to play. But it will leave everything open so you can choose how you want to play or what kind of player you would like to be, whether it's building, PvP, or whatever. So it's not going to ruin anything. Okay, so I guess it's worth noting we've got this tunnel system down here. There are a few boxes. If you are going to do that, you will need a flashlight. Let's go ahead and check it out. There's a barrel down here. Um, again, if you hear somebody coming, you can always shut off the light and crouch. I hope I picked the right side for the crate. This will just kind of catapult you to the other. Uh, I did not. <laughs> but if you are getting attacked, this isn't bad because you can get the drop on somebody and come up in another location or lose them completely. Anyways, just know in the tunnel system, it's back towards the end of the yard here. You're going to have a crate under one of those tunnels. Closest to the tracks. Um, this is important because low grade is used for the high end rating, whether it's rockets or even vehicles, boats, helicopters, ve or, um, modular vehicles, that kind of thing. This is good for that. 
Uh, you do use low grade to get more crude, and then crude can be bubbled into more low grade. So this is a low grade slingshot, more or less, question mark. Uh, you put, this is the output here, and you would place the low grade in here. Uh, people often overlook this, but then when you start crafting your high-end stuff, like explosives and rockets and stuff, you'll be like, oh, we need a lot of low grade. Yes, you do. So basically, you put in low grade, and this pumps out crude. If you have a bubbler or a refinery at your place, you can uh, get more. So again, not a bad place to live by. Uh, just know that this location changes from server to server and wipe to wipe. Oh, wait, it's right up here. <laughs> Oops, nope, not power plant. We're right here. And there is a no build zone around these monuments. So having an elevated location around here, not only for the materials, isn't bad, but uh, living next to this would definitely slingshot you. So if you want to be a Chad or a Steven, this is a good place. And look, we got another military crate. This one's right there. If you walk around this red tube, you should see it there. But it does expose you. Look how much loot you can just get just being a... Sneaky sneak. Again, I almost always like to take like low end materials with me. Weapons. And then that way if I if I get smoked. Oh nice. Rifle body, eight scrappy doodles. Winning. It's always a trade up. Especially if you're out, if you get more materials. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. These little um I don't know what these are. Cranes? These have some Military crates on them again, jumping as you go up. Boop, boop, boop. Look at that. Nice. Uh, Millie crate, what's up? People will see you up here, so dipping in here, closing these doors, or waiting for people. This is a nice place to be a trapped or a spider, just saying. And again, you can get down on this side. Sometimes breaking away from the, uh, from the side and going down can accelerate, or if you look down and jump, it'll speed it up. And if there is one of those hackable crates or events that happen out here, uh, this is a very stabby place to be. Oops. I got one over here. I jumped on the right side. These little lips right here will help you jump onto these. Again, jumping up, and you should see another milli crate right there. I keep telling people, and this has always been true, and it would spawn right here. Apparently, it did not spawn here this time. Oh, look, we got a crate right there. Bam. Oh, look at this wooden gate. I tell people all the time, uh, living next to this area is still good, even though you don't have those cards right away. That's going to help slingshot your progression, your base building, your weapon construction, all of that good stuff. I mean, you get the components that you'll need to make things here. And let's see, we've got another house over here. This is the other pit I was talking about where the tunnels are at, where you can find another crate. Let's see if we can see another barrel down here. Oh, there we go. There's a the crate. Bing! Over here, I think... I'm not sure what's in this one. Look, we have food crate. That's good. Elevated locations around the train yard is where it's at. Look at this. Another crate. Oh, yeah. Metal sheets. I almost always grind those up. We got another barrel right there. And we have a door here. More places to jump around. We got the wall for the exterior. Nasty little train cars. Then we're going to go back in and show you a few more. Ooh, look at this. I almost forgot about this. We got another milli crate right on the back of the shed. Eight scrappy doodles and a targeting computer. Yay, yay. Can you say turret construction? I think that you can. We're going to head back towards, I don't know what to call this building, but it's essentially the blue card building, the puzzle. Uh, once you head around there, there's definitely some boxes and stuff you may want to pick up. Oh, right here. Knocked over coal train car there and again these brown boxes can turn into our spawn in military crates as well nice more food rad protection if you want to take to the launch site i'm going to go ahead and link uh, the launch site puzzle now in the upper right hand corner I'll save those rad pills for that or you can convert them or sell them back at the bandit camp for more money so although it's i think it's one to one for scrap so it makes more sense to use it at the launch site Okay, heading to the back of the blue card uh, puzzle building. Got barrels here. Real stabby back here. Usually lots of people hanging around. You want to check the back. The military crates are pretty well hidden because they're just dark. Look at that. We got pipes, floor grill, baby. Oh, speaking of floor grill, if you had one of those and you wanted to build a furnace base, 
I've got a video on that now. I'll go ahead and link it in the upper right-hand corner. The all-important furnace base. And up here, you've got these catwalks and more boxes. Ooh, look at that. You got the bed. Man, I wish this was a real wipe. I really do. You can jump across here, do a little crouchy jump. You can see into the puzzle solution area here. We're going to drop down and then go check one of the other towers back here for even more loot. This tower here has a switch, and sometimes it's got a milli crate or a brown crate at the top. Or I should just say it's just a standard crate. Here we go. We got a. Um, actually, I don't think I've ever seen this before. We've got the medical crate back there. If you jump up these stairs like so, always be on the lookout for other players. Real stabby up here. Look out. Scan for other players. Communication with your teammates is nice up here if you're running duos or solo. Well, duos or trios, rather. <laughs> you, if you're solo, you're just talking to yourself. Here's the other switch. Again, if you see that on, maybe you can intercept or communicate to your teammates. But look at this. Military crate again. Boom. So there it is. That's doing the train yard with no key cards and still getting high-end loot. And I hope th that this has helped you. And if it has, be sure to drop a like. And again, I hope that the NDA beta is lifted soon enough so we're all playing and just know that if you didn't make it into that rust console beta that the full release is sometime in spring 2021 so again this will pertain to the beta but also the console edition full release which will be happening soon enough myself uh, razor tube and bio laser which is the boyfriend squad we will be playing it heavily both in the beta and full release we cannot wait so we hope that we see you guys there and uh yeah love you and we'll see you in the next video slash live stream love you bye so much loot at this place. Is that a wolf out there? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs>